Hello, my name is Ian, and welcome to the Arizona Science Center's Facebook Live. Today, we are going to be going over the Bernoulli Principle and the science of paragliding. Paragliders use an airfoil to fly, just like regular airplanes. Let's check it out. A paraglider is made up of three main parts, the seat, the lines, and the wing. The seat is where the pilot sits and controls the aircraft. The lines connect the seat to the wing. Finally, the wing is what generates the lift, or the force that keeps the aircraft in flight. While this wing looks like a regular parachute, it is actually a fully functional airfoil, like the wings on a regular airplane. The Bernoulli effect is what allows winged aircraft to generate lift. Fast moving air creates a low pressure zone. In this demonstration, the ball is trapped in the fast moving low pressure column of the air and can't escape since the rest of the room is at higher pressure. As you can see from this simplified image, the same principle can be applied to a wing. The curved shape causes the air above the wing to move faster than the air on the bottom, creating a low pressure zone on top, generating lift. A paraglider's wing is shaped similar to an airplane's wing. Just like in a regular airplane, the airfoil creates a low pressure zone above the wing by causing the air to move over the top at a faster speed relative to the bottom. This generates lift, allowing the pilot to soar the skies and take in the views. I hope you've enjoyed a look at the Science of Paragliding brought to you by the Arizona Science Center. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for a new Facebook Live. I'll see you then.